bring up our guest for the night, our little talk show portion. WPXI and all-star on social media, Scott Harbaugh. Scott Harbaugh, everybody! You know, when you're a computer guy in the neighborhood, people go, hey, can you fix my computer? And when you're a doctor, they say, hey, my, my kid has an earache or whatever. And I always want to know. So does everybody in your neighborhood go, hey, Scott, what about this weather? I pull my car into the garage, I close the garage, I stay inside. <laughs> I open the garage, I come out of the garage, I go to work. No, not, I mean, no. Most everybody in, in my neighborhood, no. Everywhere else, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what would you hope that they would ask you about other than the weather? The Pirates. Woo. Yeah. Uh, Woo. The Steelers, the Penguins, anything besides what? weather. It's funny, though, because people, like, people, if they stop me at the Giant Eagle, they think the only thing I'm capable of talking about is weather. <laughs> Which we all know I'm wrong all the time anyway. <laughs> Why do you even ask in the first place? But anything else besides the weather. <laughs> Here's a question here. It's, it's, uh, I don't even know if I can pronounce it, but is cumulo, cumulonimbus the funniest weather term ever? Q no, the funniest weather term, cumulonimbus is a thunderstorm cloud. The funniest weather term is the Arabic for dust storm, which is haboom. <laughs> I love saying haboob. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have haboobs here. They have them in Arizona, so I'm going to end my career in Phoenix just so I can say haboob. Guys, <laughs> uh, Scott, have you ever used your prior knowledge of the weather for evil? <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> for those listening on the podcast, he actually just put his pinky to his to his lip there. That was beautiful. Yeah. I think weather. I think weather's just evil every day anyway. I mean, tomorrow's a perfectly good example. What is the multipl multiplicative inverse of one seventh? What? The multiplicative inverse of one seventh would be seven, wouldn't it? Yes. There you go. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Seven thirty. Yes. Seven thirty math SAT score. Thank you. <laughs> Two ten Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, Scott, this is a beautiful question. Maybe submitted by our bachelorette party. I would have to think Ashley! because this is this is more like um, he's so fixated on you. Actually, I'll tell you what. Web security, SQL, escort you out before he gets out of here. I, I guarantee. It. All right. So this may be by your team over there because it's kind of like a wedding uh, uh, advice. Is it the size of the ship or the motion of the ocean? Both. <laughs> what do you do on the fly when the weather map looks like male genitalia? <laughs> I try to hit the clicker as quickly as possible to get the next graph because someone always catches it, screen captures it, put, posts it on Twitter. It happened to a guy in Cincinnati a couple years ago. It was like the original one that happened. He was talking about this plume of moisture. The way he was standing, it literally looked like it was about a 24 inch. <laughs> and it made the round. So if I ever see anything that pops up on Storm Track that looks anything like it, I fast forward right past it. Scott, this is your one chance that you don't have on TV to rant about something. If you had two minutes to rant on something, what would Scott Harbaugh rant about? I got, I got nothing to rant about. I mean, the Penguins are winning, the Pirates are undefeated. Snow. The Steelers are going to stir my head, but I, I'm also on vacation, so I'm okay with the Steelers. <laughs> I don't have the answer to that. I've got nothing to rant about. My life is good. One last question, then. Did you ever want to fart during a weather update <laughs> and then make a funny face? <laughs> Who says I haven't? <laughs> with that funny face you just made right there, yeah. did you just fart? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Harbaugh. <laughs>